One thing's for sure, there's certainly no shortage of great tasting food here in Virginia this morning. Our next guest is part of a national casual restaurant chain that's known for its fresh made from scratch Mediterranean dishes. A lot of anticipation, leftover turkey for Thanksgiving. We wanted to share a tasty recipe you can try at home. We welcome Alan Bitgood to Virginia this morning. And man, we mentioned at the top of the show, this is a great presentation and we haven't even fixed the food yet. Not so, yet, not yeah. yet. Yeah. So, pretty hungry. So. Pretty excited <laughs> about it, it too. Yeah, <laughs> yes. and there's a lot going on here. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the turkey stack is definitely a uh, great way to go. Like you're saying, leftover turkey, uh, regular turkey sandwich could be really boring. Just mm -hmm. throw cheese on there, some turkey. Um, usually after a lot of eggnog, that's all you can come up with in the morning. But you got a hot pan going for a yes. turkey sandwich. Yeah, we have to grill it. Oh, this is getting to ready it. to get really interesting. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, Show we're going to get nice and fancy this, this time. All right, well, pretty simple. Everybody usually has some sourdough bread or some white bread or just whatever bread you uh, feel like using. A um, little feta spread here. Feta spread? Feta, feta spread, spread, yes. That is absolutely key. Uh, feta cheese is absolutely delicious. What are the and key components you're cooking, to make a feta? Cooking at your house, this is what you, normally happens, you just spill everything everywhere. Oh, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now how, <laughs> Jess had the question, how do we make feta spread? I've got feta cheese, but mm -hmm. I've never had feta spread before. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's just a feta, feta cheese, uh, throw some fresh parsley in there. Key ingredient, definitely fresh parsley. Um, a little sour cream, even some mayonnaise, um, ah, salt sour and pepper. Cream just and mayonnaise. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> me personally, I, I'm a big garlic fan, so I love garlic. So I um, always throw a little bit of that in there. But whatever you like in your feta spread, you can find so many different recipes. But we keep ours very simple. How uh, far in advance do you have to make that, Alan? To kind of mush together in that consistency. Is that like a right away thing, or just put it in there and have it at the ready? Um, you can make it uh, the day before or the day of. Um, it'll, it'll hold pretty much one day or so, but you want to make sure you keep it nice and fresh. It's going to taste way better. Cool. All right, and then of course um, we're going to use olive oil and fresh rosemary. Mmm. Fresh rosemary definitely really key. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. Yes. That pan is getting hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. A little olive oil there. <laughs> Looks good. Yep, so we can just uh, throw these right in the pan here. Okay. Wait a minute. I thought you were going to put the cheese side down. You put it up. Put it up. Oh, yeah. We're going to want to grill that bread there. For the record, I thought they were going cheese side down, too. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm already, I'm already thrown for a loop here. Yeah. No, yeah. no. So the cheese is just going to be on top. All right, and more cheese. More, what, cheese. more cheese. This is uh, shredded mozzarella cheese. Mm. Good, good, good. Can't never have too much cheese. No. Yeah, cheese is delicious. That's why we keep That's why around. I'm on the show. <laughs> Thank you. I, she beat me to yes. it. <laughs> so, we're, we're here all morning, folks. <laughs> so as we grow that, you know, your leftover turkey, you probably won't uh, slice it as fancy and as thin as this, but However you want to throw it on Yeah, there. but if you like it chunky, then that's probably a good thing too, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so a little bit more then? Yeah, yeah sure. It. A little bit more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So throw cheese on there. You don't need to heat up the turkey at all. You just want to make that grill nice and toasty there. And, of course, uh, lettuce and tomato. If you're not a fan of either one, I personally like my vegetables. Throw that on there. So I'm super excited about this concept of the olive oil in the pan. Usually I'm buttering bread on that side to make a grill, to make like a grilled cheese. And I guess this is grilled cheese's cousin, the turkey stack. Yes, but indeed. you're using olive oil. Olive oil, a little tad, tad bit healthier for you. Okay. And that's yeah. going to give it that Mediterranean, Mediterranean style. Oh yes, style. Gotcha. Yeah. definitely, okay. definitely. So All they right. both like do it. their thing. Uh, they just you still have them in the halves. Yes, it. Okay. So grill that so toast coming along. Pretty good. Very nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. So we just. Oh, that was a trick. Did you see that, Jeff? <laughs> I did. You moved everything to the other <laughs> I side. Did. Yeah. Alan's making sure we get the pretty side of the bread. Pretty I think that's what just happened. Our pan kind of sat in there. Gotcha. I'll uh -huh. take this uh, plate right there. Okay. So that's kind of a light toast, Alan. Yep. If you had somebody who was more into like the crispy, you just leave it on a little. Oh longer. yeah. Uh, some people like it really crispy, mm -hmm. a little tougher. Um, so I like to give a nice little cross cut here. And you're not necessarily melting the cheese. It really doesn't take all that long. It's just kind of a little bit melted. Yes, yes. You know, the, the heat from the bread um, and the feta cheese is definitely going to melt into the mozzarella, so it's going to be really tasty. Yum. Oh, that, so that's it. Uh, definitely dig in. We even have a product I finished earlier today. It uh, looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Super you, delicious. You know where I would go from here? 
I would just take a giant blob of hummus and then dip the sandwich in the hummus. That's not low cow, but it is good. Feel free. Okay. All right. You ask, and yes, then you must have quality control. Thanks, Alan. This oh, looks delicious, right? Really, I'm ready. really nice. Right, see, this is this oh, is me at home. Really? That's not right. You're gonna do that? <laughs> That's not good. All. Oh, good gosh. That mm. girl's got some skills. Uh -oh. All right, quality control. It's uh, mm. hard to believe how dedicated Jess is to her job. Before we head to break, it's time to make you a winner. Our friends at Zoe's Kitchen want mm. you to enjoy some of their delicious food. Call her six right now. 342-5745 wins a $25 <laughs> gift card. 342-5745 is the number to dial. If you're quick, you may get it before Jess eats it all. Good luck.